Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa directed to dispatch urgent humanitarian relief aid to Lebanon to help alleviate their suffering in the aftermath of the massive blast which rocked the capital Beirut. He assigned the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, to undertake the operation under the supervision of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser paid tribute to His Majesty the King, the RHF honorary chairman, hailing his continued humanitarian initiatives in support of disaster hit people. He hailed the royal drive which he said reflects the unwavering stance of Bahrain's leadership, government and people towards brotherly and friendly countries and people in times of adversity. He lauded His Majesty's keenness to extend a helping hand to all people describing the royal drive as stemming from the fraternal and humane ties binding all nations worldwide and the brotherly relations linking Bahrain and Lebanon. His Highness reiterated Bahrain's solidarity with the Lebanese people. He announced that the foundation is preparing a consignment to be dispatched urgently, reiterating heartfelt condolences to Lebanon's leadership, government and people, as well as the bereaved uh, victims' families. A RHF Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayed announced that the medical consignment would be dispatched to Lebanon in cooperation with the Ministry of Health and other relevant authorities. He said that other initiatives and efforts would be undertaken to support the people of Lebanon in the aftermath of the incident. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that sporting activities will resume in the kingdom, including the Nasser bin Hamad Football League, adding that this positive step paves the way to the return of normal life in the kingdom in accordance with the health regulations stipulated by the authorities concerned. In his statement, His Highness affirmed the importance of implementing the decisions of the Executive Committee, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy. Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which permitted the resumption of national leagues without audiences as well as the recommendation of the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus in addition to the regulations and guidelines on the resumption of sporting activities. Sporting activities issued by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, His Highness underscored the efforts exerted to resume sporting activities in the Kingdom, as well as the preventative plan set in cooperation with the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. He also expressed faith in the awareness of the community and its commitment to all health and safety regulations. His Highness wished all participants' teams luck in the league. The president of the Asian Football Confederation, the AFC president and FIFA's vice president, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, participated in a series of virtual meetings that have been organized by the world's football federations, which aim to reinforce cooperation among them. Sheikh Salman praised the initiatives that have been proposed, allowing for direct and interactive cooperation between the Asian Federation and those of other continents. He then gave a presentation to highlight the efforts of the federation to support national football associations associations during this time of the pandemic. The Embassy of Bahrain in Syria has reported the safety of all Bahraini citizens present in Lebanon following the devastating explosion that took place in one of the warehouses in Beirut port. The embassy stresses the importance of following all instructions issued by the Lebanese authorities and to stay away from the location of the explosion. For assistance, contact the following numbers. The Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Damascus, 00963-9911-4444. The Office of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Lebanon, 00961-382-4709. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs Operation Office, 00973-172279.
Upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and under the supervision of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, is preparing to dispatch its first urgent relief shipment tomorrow morning to Lebanon to support its brotherly people following the devastating Beirut port explosions. On this occasion, the RHF Secretary General, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, expressed appreciation to His Majesty the King for this humanitarian gesture stemming from the fraternal and humane relations that bind the people of the world. He underscored the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Lebanon, stressing the importance of supporting them amid this humanitarian crisis. Al Sayyid also praised the support of the government to the RHF under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, as well as the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also hailed the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in leading humanitarian work in the kingdom. The RHF Secretary General stated that the shipment will include necessary medical supplies, hailing the cooperation and support of both the Ministries of Foreign Affairs and the Health Ministry in facilitating the Foundation's work. Al Sayyid will convey the condolences of the kingdom to the leadership, government and people of Lebanon. A meeting will also be held between the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid al mana and the Lebanese Ministry of Health to discuss uh, the upcoming aid as relief initiatives. The Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning announced that in light of the construction works of a footbridge of Khalifa al-Kabir Highway in Muharraq near the Coastal Guard Base, a three-day closure of Khalifa al-Kabir Highway for traffic going to Manama will take place on three stages in cooperation with the General Directorate of Traffic of the Ministry of Interior. The first stage will consist of a full closure for one direction of the highway for the traffic going to Manama, including all three lanes. The traffic movement will be diverted to Abdullah Rahman, Rahman Al Fadl Avenue starting from Thursday, the 6th of August at 11 p.m. to Friday, the 7th of August until 3 a.m. The second stage will consist of the closure of one lane and two lanes on stages for traffic leading to Manama on Friday, the 7th of August at 3 a.m. to 11 p.m to 11.59 p.m. The third, third stage will consist of the follow for the full closure of the highway towers Manama. The traffic movement will be diverted to Abdullah Rahman Al Fadl Avenue on Friday the 8th of August at 12 a.m. till 4 a.m. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,784, with 241 recoveries, 382 registered new cases and three deaths. 149 of the new cases confirmed are among its patriot workers, 224 are contacts of active cases and nine are travel-related. The deceased were male citizens aged 50, 66 and 74. The Ministry of Health expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased. It also urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirms the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact, moreover covering the nose and the mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible.